All right, guys, welcome to episode 35 of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, Low Key. Got John here with me. Yo, We're yo. back with some more content, man. We appreciate on? everybody that's been rocking, liking, subscribing, thumbs up, all that good shit. Continue to do that. But, um, but yeah, man, we're just here with another episode about to talk some shit. Yeah, facts. Nothing. We're chilling. Something vibing. light. Something light. Beautiful Sunday. You know what I mean? Facts. It's been a good day, bro. Yeah, yeah. It's beautiful weather. I went out to the beach. You know what I mean? Yesterday was nice. Um, yeah, I had to get my tan on, bro, because I was looking too white. I was looking like <laughs> I was looking like my, my shirt, man. You're looking like a fucking ghost, man. Nah, for real, for real. But I saw one of, bro, I was walking down the, like, not the street, but the beach. And I was walking with my, with my buddy Mike. Shout out, Mike. Shout out to Mike, man. Yeah, and I was walking, man. I swear to God, man. I look down, bro. I see a motherfucker that's like gold, bro. He's as golden <laughs> as your necklace, bro. Like gold. Like gold, bro. Like he looked like leather, bro. How you said the other yeah, day. Yeah, bro. Looking like a fucking leather face ass nigga. Nah. <laughs> bro, gold, bro. And I was like, man, this guy must be out there every single day. Every single day. Yeah. He must be one of those guys that's like, he sits out there for hours. No sunscreen. Just Bro, that's so horrible. Like, that's the quickest way to catch cancer in Florida. Yeah, I know. <laughs> for real, for That's real. crazy. I know. I got to watch out because I'm bald, bro. <laughs> I got to watch out, bro. You know, they say the fastest yeah. way to, they say most cancer patients, ca they catch cancer on the tip of their ears. The tips. Get the because fuck that's, out of that, here. Yeah, because they say like, that is the most like. You know, it's, it's, not, it's not hidden from anything. You don't have hair on your ears. You don't, unless you wear a hat every day. But, you know, for a bald person like me or somebody who doesn't have too much hair, bro, it doesn't cover your the ears. The tip of your ears. Yeah, bro. My Nigga, mom used to work pissed. at a dermatologist, man. That's what they were saying. That's, that's crazy, bro. Yeah. Learn something new every day. That's crazy. You learn something new every day. But yeah, bro. That's crazy. You can't overdo it with tanning, man. Like, nah. like, there's people that just sit out there for eight hours a day. Like, that's their job is just to tan. And then, like, look like a fucking leather bag. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I actually have a buddy of mine that he makes leather bags. Jesus. Yeah, by what hand. I asked him. I was like, yo, man. He's like, yeah, bro. You know, I stopped making them because, you know, you go to the store, you could buy them for so cheap because they pay these workers so cheap to make these bags overseas. Pay these workers. They probably, they're probably. Slaving <laughs> these niggas. Yeah, it's like, yo, dog, like, work for 17 hours straight. If you pass out, we'll just, like, replace you real quick. Yeah. Like, we got, like, a whole room full of niggas. Put you in a freezer. 25 cent a day. No more. Damn. That's crazy, bro. That makes you think. Nah, it does, bro, but that's a, a lot of corporations do shit like that, man. Like, I don't even want to think about that. Yeah, for real. Fuck all that. Yeah. We, we ain't trying to bring no fucking sad shit. No. Today we talking about funny shit only, bro. <laughs> Some funny shit that you fucking brought up was these goddamn Chinese hornets, bro. Bruh. Bruh. That's crazy. How the fuck do 1,600 people across three <laughs> cities get fucked by hornets? Plus you had a virus already. And now oh you got a fucking... God, now you got crazy bro. hornets. I mean, I'm going to put up the picture right here, guys. Look at the size of this fucking hornet. This shit's the size of a fucking, it's the size of a fucking, like, my phone. That shit's it's like, the size of my phone. That shit's the size of, like, a silver dollar, bro. That shit's huge, bro. I like, was driving the other day. That shit stings me, bro. I might just, cry. Like, I, dead ass. Bro. Like, I'm gonna cry. Nah, nah. I'm gonna cry for real. And I'm not allergic or anything like that, but just the sound of, like, bzz, like in my ear or just next to me, something with crazy nah. f just features, you know? I just don't like it, man. It just freaks me out. Bro. Spiders. And not to mention that these fucking hornets are so goddamn big that three of them might kill you. <laughs> like, three things might kill you. Jesus. Think about it, bro. Them bitches are huge. And then if, if you're allergic, you're fucked. It's already you're fucked. worse. Yeah. You're it's fucked. already bad enough that you got stung. Like, just by a small little bee. But imagine a ten bro, times worse. Like, I've got stung by a bee right in my fucking face. And that shit hurt like a son of a bitch. On my hand, it hurt. I can't imagine on your face. Bro, like a son of a bitch. A <laughs> like a bitch. son of a bitch. I, I was fucking pissed. <laughs> you sounded like a fucking <laughs> like Pablo. A fucking bitch goodbye. Nah, but bro, that shit hurt. So I can only imagine a fucking wasp or a hornet three times the size of that motherfucker. Mm. Oh my god. Bro. Nah, nah. They say like, oh, you're not supposed to run. Like, how are you not? How are you? You're not supposed it's to run, bitch. What am I supposed to they, do? They said that they actually chase somebody six hundred fucking feet, like a whole swarm. Like that's a long. That's six hundred feet is kind of a long. It is little ways to be but chased to it, be though. running. I'm hitting it though, bro. I don't know. Like that's wild, you know. So like, who knows? You know, be, I guess it's just natural selection. I don't know. <laughs> but fifteen, but fifteen hundred people. That's 
43 deaths. That's ridiculous. Yeah, bro. Across three cities. That's like a plague, money. Like, I don't know, bro. We might have to pray for China. I don't know. I mean, what if that shit flies over here? If it's that big, it's like a fucking dragon flying overseas in a, in a hive. No, like, bro. Like, now they're saying, like, they, they, uh, they invest money into, like, the government over there is investing money into taking them down. Like, just the specific like the people. Hives? Yeah, just going around and burning them, uh, taking them alive. Because you got to burn them. I feel bad for the guy who has that job. Yeah. <laughs> He, I mean, pit, they're probably right? wearing masks and right? shit. Yep. But that's trash. Yep. But the fucking wasp is this big, and if that shit gets in your shirt, you're pissed. Nah, that's yeah, trash. That shit might be able to sting right through your little suit you got, bro. But fuck it, guys. Pray for China, because some crazy shit, some corona's coming out of over there. The biggest wasps in the fucking world are I, over there. I don't know what's I, going on over there, but I don't know God what damn. The, I don't know what the hell's going on with that. That's crazy. I'll tell you what I do know. Oh, tell you what, <laughs> there's gonna be a shit ton of Corona babies. Nah, when all this quarantine shit gets lifted, there's bro. gonna be a lot of babies. I know, bro, a lot, bro. There's nothing else to do but do drugs, stay and, home and, with your fucking significant other, and fuck. Imagine the people that have twins. Oh my god, just during this time. <sighs> I feel bad enough for people that have one kid. Imagine the same kid twice. Imagine if they're both assholes. Oh my god. <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, for real, because you can have two adoption. angels. You can have two angels, <laughs> but you can have two assholes too. So you better. I'm telling you, yeah, karma comes around. Nah, nah, I'll tell you what. There's always an orphanage somewhere. Nah, for, nah, <laughs> hell nah. I told you I never nah, have a nah, daughter. Fu- that's fucked up. I'm not even gonna joke around about that. I actually want to want to like adopt a kid one day, but I've always said that shit since yeah. I was like 15. Like just to do it, bro. I yeah. feel like there's there's a kid out there that deserves. A home, a chance, a yeah. real, fa- a, a real chance at life. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm absolutely. Real yeah, shit. yeah. I respect that. I respect people <coughs> that do that, because uh, it takes balls, man. Because you never know how the kid's gonna react when it's like when it finds out. Yeah, but that it, I feel like it's the same bullshit. You don't know how your kid's gonna. That's react. why. That's why your I rather, kid can fucking think one way when he's if, six and then at seventeen be like, "Fuck you, dude, you <laughs> piece of shit." You know, that's why I'm gonna adopt a black child. <laughs> I'll adopt like a, like a black child or a dark skin. Why, bro? So they know. They're, they know that it's what? obvious. That they're adopted? Yes. You're fu- like, you, you. That's more easier. Bro, you could just sit them down and be like, hey, brother, you know you're adopted. When they get to be the right age. Like, you don't got to make it completely obvious. Like, what if jump. they get mad at you for not telling them when they were younger? What do you mean, bro? They could. Hey, listen, kids, kids can't comprehend everything. They, they don't understand everything. Not younger, but. Like, what age are you talking about? When would you tell them? When they want to know. Like, when they come up to you What if they never know? If they never know, bro, then that... I don't know. That's actually (laughs) a different topic. You see? That's a different topic. Because if they never know, they never know. But if your kid comes up to you, I don't think you should lie about it. Yeah, I know. But then, like, what if they find out later on? Like, that's that's a big topic. You know? Like, what if they find out later on in life? I feel like like you should tell them. Yeah. That's just my opinion. Yeah, they're going to go through a phase. They might be mad at you for a while and shit. But at the end of the day, you still gave them... You, you told them the truth, and you gave them the opportunity to go meet their real parents. Because okay. that's another thing that they might be mad at you for later. It's like, damn, now they're dead. I can't even talk to them, and you told me too late. Oh, or some yeah. shit. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Like, who crazy. fucking knows? Yeah. But, but yeah, there's going to be a lot of quarantine corona babies. Corona <laughs> babies are a real fucking thing, bro. They're going to yeah. be like their own little fucking, you know what I'm saying? Like generation. Generation corona. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> damn, <laughs> Gen shit. X, generation corona. Generation <laughs> COVID-19. Nah, Holy for real. Fuck. That shit fucked up. That's trash, bro. That shit changed this a lot. This is fucking up the whole entire world. Like, yeah. niggas is pissed. <laughs> Can't get back to work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they just got to chill. They just fucking released the thing saying that it's going to be it's gonna take two years to fucking fix. It might take up to two years. Just for everything to be for normal. For everything to be back to normal. Yeah. And it's like, holy fuck. I don't know. That's that's a little bit too much, man. Now uh, you Listen, bro. You, if you don't take advantage of this time you got right now and yeah, make some use real. out of it. That's on you, bro. Unless it's like, you know, probably the essential workers are like, fuck you. I'm still working. <laughs> I'm still doing it. Life hasn't changed. You know, it's I, true. Yeah, for a lot of people, it hasn't. But for millions of people, it has. Yeah. Bro. Like, there's a lot of people on unemployment right now and shit. Like, shit's serious. Shit's more serious than what people think. But, you know, you play your cards right. When you come out of this shit, you you'd could be, be, you'd you be, could be right. really, really, really well off. You'd be real well off, man. For real. 
But now, nah, fuck that shit, bro. Nah. So let's get to the nitty gritty, bro. Let's get uh, to the real talk. Yeah, let's yeah. Get to I want to know something, bro. I had a question to ask you, bro. You know what I mean? I don't know about you, but you know, whenever I'm, you know, done. You know what a female will say like that whenever I'm finished. Whenever I'm done. Whenever I shot a rope, you know what I mean? If you <laughs> get what I'm saying. Stupid as fuck. Fucking, you know, I roll over. I get tired. I'm going to roll over. Bro. I'm going to squirt and roll. Bro. You know what I'm saying? That's what I am. That's what I'm going to do. And it's been like that. I know, like, I shouldn't be like that. I should be, like, cuddling after. You know, there's some people that do. They like that. I'm not that guy. Yeah. Um, I'm not really like. Now nah, I'm with you, Mav. I'm with you. I, I'm the same way. I'm a squirt and roll. <laughs> That's what I'm, I'm a call. Squirt and roll, bro. Squirt and roll. I'm gonna get my shit off, bro, and I'm rolling right the fuck over. <laughs> I'm gonna roll over either the bed or to the money. Nah, bro. I'm rolling. <laughs> nah, I'm going straight to sleep. Nah, I'm tell you yeah, what. yeah. I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm tell you what. That's what I'm doing. I'm going straight to sleep. I, but yeah, bro. Honestly, that ass like, I don't think adults cuddle. Not during the night. Like, yeah, you might lay on the couch with your wife or whatever the yeah, fuck. They barely have sex. Yeah, but <laughs> nigga, you're not cuddling throughout the night when you're both fucking sweating and piss as fuck in the middle of the night. Like, yeah. nah, bro, that shit's trash. No, nah, it is that trash. That shit's trash. Get off me. I'm trying to fucking... Yeah. I'm trying to sleep. Yeah, I'm trying to sleep. Like, I'd rather sleep <laughs> on my own. What if we just have two separate beds, but when we come together, we'll just put them together? Yo, I used to think <laughs> older people were crazy when they did shit like that. Like, I used to... You ever walk in the house and, like, the main bedroom has two beds? Yeah. Bruh, I want that now. Yeah, I think like, that's real. You know why? Because old, then- old people, they don't... They don't want to sleep with another person. It's not even that, but I don't want to sleep with another person, bro. Yeah. Get off me. Yeah. I'm trying to roll over and not kill you, dog. I'm like 6'6". Six, six. Bro, I can't breathe by itself, bro. Get off me, bro. bro. I need a ventilator, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yo, it, like, gets, it gets too steamy under them fucking sheets, bro, for you to be sitting there cuddling, dog. I'm sorry. Nah. Like, fuck that. My grandparents still sleep together, though. They have one bed, so. Hey, I don't man, know how they salute, do it. Salute, bro. Yeah. Salute. I don't know how they do it. But I know they're sick of each other. <laughs> That's all I know. <laughs> they're goddamn tired of each other. They're cursing at each other every day. They're sick of each other, bro, but yeah. they, they came too far. It's like 60 years of marriage. They came too far to turn around, bro. I After know. 60 years, it's like, bro, I have to put up with I you. Got, like, I, I see, have to. Yeah, I see. Like, I got my kids' kids here, like, alive. Now I got my kids' kids' kids alive. Oh, bro, I, I got to keep it together, bro. I got I to gotta, I gotta be chilling, you know? I need my woman. Because who else is he going to go to? Where Where are you going to go after that? You're already 60 years old. You've been with this woman for 60 mm. years. I don't think... <laughs> <laughs> nah, you'd be surprised. Nah. <laughs> I'd be surprised. Some niggas be pulling. You know Jiggle low. Some niggas be pulling even, old, even later nah, in life, for real. bro. I think that might but be. But there's always somebody for you. Yeah. There's a, it don't matter what age group you're in. You can be fucking 77 years old and be like, fuck. And then meet another fucking person that's 77 and be like, oh, damn, like... I yeah. mean, we might as well. <laughs> yeah. We're old as fuck, and yeah. we got nobody else. Like, <laughs> for real. Bro. That's crazy, man. Nah, man. Nah, I, I, I just like sleeping alone, bro. That's just how it is. It's going yeah, good, nah, bro. facts, bro. When it comes, when it comes down to that, bro, it's like the movies paint a picture that's not fucking not true at all, bro. Like, yeah, I'm telling you, bro. Most adults don't cuddle let alone have fucking sex more than like once a fucking month yeah it's like they like, plan it's for it they schedule it they're yeah, like you know bro, what it's like, like it, it's like a treat i don't get that though it's yeah. like it's like how do you not have time like it takes i don't that's all bullshit yeah. to me bro you make time for what you want i think that's why there's a lot of divorces i feel like like maybe it's just everybody's cheating on each other people people want shit until they have it <laughs> <laughs> That's really what it comes down nah. to. Everybody wants to be married and have that fucking... Ma- oh, I'm married. Look at the ring. Until you're seven years in, you're both miserable as fuck. You fucking can't stand each other. you fucking raising these kids now. And One everybody's of the, fucking pissed. Yeah, for real. One of the kids ain't yours. Yeah, it's like... It's like, bro, like... Uh, I'm not doing that. I'm not bro. doing that either. Nah, I don't know. Hey, respect. You know nah, respect. Mean? Hey, salute to you. Because we were just talking about because yeah, we were like, just talking about adopting. You know what I mean? Yeah, so but like, that's different. That's different though. though. That's it somebody is. that doesn't have a chance. Like that. Yeah. Like, you have two whole parents. Go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go find them over there. You know, and I know a lot of people personally that's on that boat. You know, salute because you got you got, you know, a strong head over your shoulders. Bro, everything ain't for everybody, bro. Yeah, bro. Real talk. There's people out here that are like, yo, like, they're they're good at that, and you know, they don't mind it. And then there's other people out here that aren't cut out for it, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? True. Like, me personally, bro, I 
I feel like it comes with too much baggage. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I would feel like it's the same thing, vice versa. Like, if I had a kid and the girl I'm talking to doesn't and she were to choose to not fuck with me over it, I'd understand, bro. Because I'm like, yo, I get it. Like, this is a whole extra response. It's not a puppy, bro. Yeah. Where you could sell that shit mm -hmm. and get, the, get rid of it. It's a kid. Yeah. You got to raise it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, so... I don't know, bro, but... Yeah, I'm thinking about... Bro, I had I have a puppy. You know Remy and shit. Yo, shout out Remy. You know what I mean? Remy Bo. I'm going to put his Instagram right here, too, so you guys follow him. Man, he... uh, Man, when he was a puppy, he used to shit a lot, man. Like, a lot, a lot. Now he's getting better and all that. But, I don't know. I can't imagine having a kid, man. A kid must be a little bit more difficult. A little bit more. A lot a more. A little bit more, bro. It's way more difficult because they grow up. And then they don't always make the smart smartest decisions while growing up. Like, you yeah. might have... You might think your kid is all good and fine and dandy and then get a call at work one day saying that they just got arrested for fucking trespassing or something. And you're like, my kid's supposed to be at school right now. What the fuck is this nigga doing? Like, what's going on right now? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, your ki kids are people, bro. They're going to make their own decisions. They're going to do what they want to do. That's why, like, I feel bad for these parents that, like, break their fucking head and pull their hair out trying to control their kids. But you're not going to control shit. Yeah. Like, you could come to an understanding and meet each other in the middle. Yeah. Maybe. But you're not going to force somebody to do something they don't want to do. Yeah. Like, facts. That's true. Honestly. That's true. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's it just takes time. You know what I mean? It takes time. What are you going to do? But, yeah. Um, shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's everything, pretty much. <laughs> Yeah, guys, <laughs> yeah. it's been yours truly, low key. We've been back at it. Don't forget, again. we gotta tell these guys to to thumbs up, subscribe. Yeah, bro, subscribe, like that shit, share it. You know what I'm saying? And guys, good news, man. We got a letter in the mail yesterday. Yeah, we legit letting us know that Dope Talk TV is an official business. It's legit. You know, it's we're legit. in there. We got our LLC, so yeah. Pretty soon, we're gonna have you know. We're going to have merch. website with merch. and We're going to have everything out there. Yeah, all types of good shit, man. So yeah. let us know what you guys would want to see us out on the website. And thumbs up. Like, thumbs up, and keep that shit pushing. We appreciate you guys. Yo, love. Peace. Peace.